Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple way to create a contact sheet or an image strip from images. You can use that to combine multiple photos into one single image to present like maybe product thumbnails or a contact sheet of photos to be shown together. And you can do this for free using XN View. XN View is free. You can download it at xnview.com and it's a very nice and simple tool to manipulate photos. And one of the functions it has, well, it has two functions actually that achieve similar effects. And I'm going to demonstrate with these product images that I have here. I have three folders with images of some scrunchies, just some products being sold on Etsy. So I would like to sell these on Etsy as a single product. So I want my thumbnail to have all four images in one single image. So very easy, just download XN view and then navigate to the folder where you have the images. I've already organized them in folders like this, four images together. So I want to use all these four to create a single image. So all I have to do is just select all of them. If your layout is different in XN view, you can change it from the view menu layout and you can choose a different layout for your uh, window. So I have them here all down. I have selected all of them so you can click and drag and then go to create. And there are two functions you can use for this. One has more options than the other. One of them is contact sheet and the other one is strip of images. The name may be misleading. You don't have to actually create a strip. You can also create uh, something that looks like a uh, contact sheet with multi columns and multi rows. So the difference is that it aligns differently. So let's try the strip of images first. I'm going to click on strip of images and with my picture selected, you see them selected in the window already. So I have a few options here that I can change. First of all, I can change uh, the option to put them horizontally or vertically. Remember, this is a strip of images, but don't worry, you can create a mosaic. That's what it's called here. And you can control, select mosaic here, and you can control how many images per row. So my, my desire here is to create two by two. So I want to have four images, two on the top, two on the bottom, equally sized and present it together. So I will select number of thumbs per row two. Then I want to create, uh, specify the size of the final image. So um, for example, on Etsy, it's a recommended image size of 2000 by 2000 or maximum of, or minimum of 2000 anyway. So I will, I've specified here 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. Of course, you can alter that later. I'm going to show you how. So with my images in the list, I've selected mosaic 2000 by 2000. I have selected two thumbs per row and I don't want any spacing between them. If you want to add spacing here, you can say um, maybe in pixels, five pixels by five pixels or whatever. So I'm just going to put zero for now. And then here you have a background color. If you want to change the background color for your uh, final image, I'm going to leave it to white. And then there's a tick box here to automatically adjust height or width. That's all it takes. Just create, click on create. And there you are, the image has been created. And as you can see, this image strip has put all the images stuck together on the top area. Now, because my images are not all square, I, I'm not occupying this space here. So you may want to cut your images to be square, crop them to be square if you can, before you combine them in this image. So all I have to do now, if I want to lose this area at the bottom, I can just drag and select and I stop at the bottom here and then I use the crop tool from the toolbar to crop and there you go I have four images in one single picture that I can save now let me show you the other tool I'm going to save this one for example and let's go up one level and choose another set of four or five images how many do I have here I have five images that's fine and I want to create a contact sheet so again I'm going to select all of them click on the first one, shift and click on the last one. And now I want to create a contact sheet. So I go to create again, but this time not strip of images. I'm going to cl click on contact sheet. And here I have similar options. 
what is the width first of all what's the width and height of the final image that i want also i can specify some margins here um, they are in pixels so i want to have a little bit of margin on this one 16 pixels on all the sides then i can control uh, the thumbnails placement so two columns two rows yeah so i want four but because i have five images i may want to say uh three rows um, okay, so three, uh, three, three rows. If I have more images, I think it's going to create another images. I, I, I don't, I didn't actually test this, but let's have a look. So um, apart from this, I'm going to do two columns and three rows. I should end up with one row with just one image at the end. That's not a problem. And again, here I can change the background color to white or black or whatever color I want and text back color. Now, it's saying here text why because there is uh, there are options here to show information a contact sheet can have information about the picture so you can add an, uh, a head note like a title you can add a footnote and you can show the information about the file name so here you if you want to if you want to show of course for uh, maybe an Etsy thumbnail you don't want to put the images uh, file name in there but if you're sending pictures to someone um, aka a, a contact sheet so then they have to have a way to refer to individual pictures when they come back to you so you want to put the file name in here or you can insert other values such as I don't know the file name with extension or the number the folder name creation date and all these things so uh, even description so you if you're sending this contact sheet to to anyone and they need to look at it then uh, refer to the pictures they can do that but I'm going to take this off now again and let's see what happens when I click create there you are so my images have been uh, arranged on my contact sheet they do have the margins because I specified margins there and as you've guessed there's a, there's probably there's an empty one here because I didn't have six images so let's try this again with the other folder finally just go to this one I have four images here select all of them go to create contact sheet I will leave the same settings except I'm gonna say two rows and two columns I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna take off the margins completely the spacing around the thumbnails and I'm going to put a head note at the top saying um, four images yeah, as a title. So let's see now. There we are. The text at the top I added is very small. The images have been um, aligned vertically, so uh, distributed vertically. So I do have space in between them. Um, if I don't want to have that top area, I'm going to just select it and crop it out. And if I don't want this portion in the middle here, I can actually copy this uh, down and cut it. So, you know, for this purpose, the other tool might actually do a better job because it will align all the pictures together instead of having all this margin around or between them. So, yeah, the way you do that is just, you know, you just copy this, cut and then you define another area where you want to paste it and paste here you go so you can move them down and cut the top area like so crop there you go so i hope this tutorial was useful you can achieve the same thing in other software like photoshop gimp or everything else um, but this one is free x and view is free so just download it uh, arrange your pictures organize them and then create your contact sheets or image strips for your purposes thank you for watching if you enjoyed my tutorials please uh, subscribe to my channel see you next time